19 years old with a shoot box stash. Yeah, I'm the Nike shoe box for holding all this cash. Okay. Boys and blue. You know, in my, you know how you got a shoe box of shit in your house? Well, I keep that in the kitchen. This. Give me a countdown to get serious. <laughs> Make a count good, good countdown just to get real serious. <laughs> Support like Raz. See, I'm going to put it like right back here so no one can see it. We do not endorse any type of vapor smoking. If you or a loved one has a problem with it, you can call me at 509 <laughs> I will talk you through it. I will go to your house and confiscate all your vapes, not for personal use. I will dispose of them in front of you, most of them, and uh, I will help you through it. So uh, with that, let's get into it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he will dispose of them by hitting them all yeah. at once. <gasps> See if he can pass out. I could. My feet are tingling right now. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Shoebox Podcast. It is your boy, Chewy, and we have a special guest here. But before that, we do have a new location. It's pretty sick. We're pretty hyped about it. Uh, there's been a lot of confusion though on like when we posted on Instagram about it. So this is not like a brick and mortar location. It's only appointment based. So kind of only having people coming through for buying and selling. Um, that's kind of how we're gonna have to run it for now. Unfortunately, like in the future, we want to have that. But right now, this is kind of where we're at. But you know, we're hyped anyways. We're hyped to have you guys come through and check out like all of our inventory. If you guys want to buy clothes, shoes, it's gonna be super dope. But Enough of that. We have a special guest in the building. We have Damien. Last ride, the last ride Rogers. What is up, guys? My name's Damien, the last ride Rogers, and I'm so stoked to be here, man. One of the first people to actually get to see this spot and check it out for all of its awesomeness. I mean, I wish you guys could see what's behind, too. A bunch of shirts, a bunch of pants. I mean, more shoes. I mean, everything is right here. And uh, just bring it back to what you were saying about like how it's a not quite a brick and mortar. Is that something you want to get into, or do you just kind of want to keep it appointment based? Because I love appointment based stores. I mean, when you go to a big city and you're just in a nice shop like this and you get to just one on one with the crew and you get to yeah, kind of yeah. look at you don't have to worry about anybody else like that is a really cool vibe it's a cool feeling but what are you it, wanting to get into like the brick and mortar you know anybody coming anytime yeah like i feel like we're just saying on like that exclusive exclusivity yeah it's pretty yeah. sick yeah like at some point for sure i think it's right now like we're just trying to you know we're slowly getting there you know? yeah no and like i said like i love like going to like I, like california new york like even down like in the southern parts like there are a bunch of cool stores that are only appointment based and it is a really cool feeling being able to Dude. go in there and there's nobody else bothering you yeah, no one yeah, else yeah. you know what i mean like they put on whatever music you like just to kind of make you feel at home Damn. and then and then they show you you know this is what we got that's cool this is what we got like in our five dollar bins this is the stuff that we're trying to get rid of and you just you get a good feeling of like the people running the shop you get a good feeling of everything there and yeah i feel like when there's a bunch of people in a store like in a in a mall or in like a really really big public setting mm -hmm. it gets a little obscured because like you know there's, it's like a restaurant almost you know there's people running around yeah, grabbing yeah. shoes doing this doing that mm -hmm. having that one-on-one -on -one is freaking sick so honestly even if you never even wanted to bring it into a brick and mortar it would still in my opinion pop off and be something that is not in this town you know what i mean something that people would look forward to like i got an appointment next week freaking stoked you know what yeah, I mean? yeah it's like oh i've been waiting all month for this yeah yeah exactly <laughs> like it feels cool like yeah. I, i've based like plans like to go down to places literally off of mm -hmm. an appointment you know what i mean yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like i'm like two months out a month out whatever like okay mm -hmm. then i'm gonna start planning the rest of my trip off of that which is it's cool you know what i mean it's nothing yeah. that's ever been done in our town at least and i think like uh, also like when you go to those locations you kind of lose um the story behind everything you know you don't yeah. get to have that like time to look at stuff and like appreciate it for like what it is yeah you kind of have to you know like you feel pressure to like buy something or you know yeah i mean i felt that place before but don't get me wrong there's a lot of places like in portland like index and stuff like that like it's yeah. busy there's lots of people coming in and out all the time but i mean it's just there's an overwhelmingly amount of cool stuff to look at mm -hmm. it's hard to not soak it in for what it is like yeah, it is yeah. still cool to go to those places don't get me wrong but something like this is just it's a whole different feeling it's a whole different game you know that's what we're trying to do and like eventually when we do get a brick and mortar store it's gonna be even better of you course. know i'm hoping that like that happens in a couple of years you know you never know so i mean we'll dude see. even a few years isn't that far away if you think about like three or four years ago i mean that was like you know blink of an eye away no like everything kind of goes so fast and you know as a like you're like what 20 21 you know you're kind of growing up 
um how did you find shoes and like clothing and like what kind of brought you into this kind of feel like you know not so, field but this culture and uh, like made you like what gets I, you jazzed up you i know love I mean? that you asked that because i mean for me it's literally and i hate to say this right but it's just the grime of like the skate park you know what mm-hmm. i mean and stuff like that like the seeing stuff that you don't see on people because i remember when i was younger i didn't really have money to buy cool shit but i would buy shit that like i just didn't see other people wearing because i was yeah, like yeah. oh that has to be cool like i was always influenced by like people like pharrell williams you know what I mean? even like kanye stuff like that just that that weird obscure like you just don't see it so like people ask like is that cool is that what is that what yeah, cool yeah. is you know what i mean mm-hmm. and like some of the stuff i wore back when i was a kid probably wasn't cool <laughs> but, but but now like i actually get like i'm an adult and i get to see like oh i know this is cool and even if other people don't think it's cool i think it's cool yeah. and i mean like i'm the person now that i would look to when i was younger and be like oh that guy's wearing it it must be cool mm-hmm. you know what i mean so i yeah, feel yeah. like i'm just kind of in the position same as you you got a cool shop you're not old but you're old enough to be like i've i've, I've seen the stuff that <laughs> flops you know what i mean yeah, yeah and i've yeah. seen the stuff that does really well and i've seen the stuff that people keep on buying like even like yeah. old like like carhartt stuff right that was like a working man's class thing yeah, now yeah. every single like frat boy and everybody in the mm-hmm. and their mom has a pair of carhartt jeans at least one you know yeah, what i mean yeah yeah thanks for like you know saying that i'm not that old i <laughs> yeah. appreciate that yeah no big. no yeah and i think uh you know i feel like we all kind of we're trying to find ourselves when we we're younger and trying to find our style and i think everybody had those like decisions you made where you're like i don't know if that like looked that good but yeah yeah you know it was all like you know it it feels like an evolution and you kind of it was you know, part of you the find, fun you know you find what you like and i think always for me it was like more comfort what i felt comfortable in so yeah but see i was kind of on like i was on the same like i love being comfortable but i loved wearing stuff that like maybe wasn't the most comfortable because mm-hmm. i don't know why ever because I, ha- I grew up with a bunch of sisters you know what i mean yeah, yeah and i watched so. lots of like like disney movies pain is beauty you know what yeah, i mean yeah, so, yeah. and like I, now that i look back i think that's absolutely stupid but <laughs> at the time i was like you know maybe these pants aren't the most comfortable because i love like like the skinny jeans with the rips yeah, yeah, in yeah. and stuff like that and my pants would be getting caught on stuff like now i'm wearing like some loose loose old corduroys like i think that's what's cool now like the comfort side of it and yeah. like being able to use comfort and fashion and slap them together i mean you just can't lose you know what i mean did you ever like uh have that situation where you just like hit like a corner really sharp and like it just ripped the whole like Dude, side of your pants yes multiple times in school in like places where it shouldn't have like top of the top of the thigh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> or like right in the ass seam and i'm just like gotta go i'm it's like second period you know what i mean i gotta go all day with like yeah this is this is what i meant to do yeah, like yeah, i yeah. love this he's got a blown out thigh <laughs> walking through class yeah that's what's cool you know what i mean no yeah dude those skinny jeans with the rips oh man i miss that era honestly like you know i think it was such a innovative time for like you know the youth well yeah dude a pair of skinny jeans with some osiris's on you know what i mean oh, it's dude. just like it goes from like to like mm. like that's freaking badass you know what i, I think, mean even yeah. now like i see people wear stuff like that usually the people i see wear stuff like that aren't really focused on fashion it's just kind of more or less whatever they can mm-hmm. get their hands on yeah but i still think it's sick like i, I love seeing people wear like the big fat shoes like mm-hmm. uh, sbs are obviously a little bit more like top tier in my opinion but even like osiris's or like the old uh like dvs like stuff like that sick you know what i mean like you just can't can't beat it and they're not only are they comfortable but they last forever that whole era of like skinny jeans with the big shoes was Dude, such sick. a time to be alive oversized just white tee for no reason yeah it were like it just like always i always love the emo kids that would like just kind of try to figure it out every day they do it the best i think the most important thing for them was like if the hair was like this <laughs> i think everything else was like secondary to yeah, making yeah. sure the hair was right you know i mean dude that's how i feel with my hair too man i just right now i kind of have it more like casual but like when i go home and i'm like hanging out it's definitely going to be like slanted you know mm-hmm. i hate seeing out of my right eye i just yeah, hate it yeah. i think it's just like you know in the darkness kind of. i mean dude i don't want to see this world yeah nobody does <laughs> especially nowadays uh. but um I also want to get into you brought a bunch of couple you brought a bunch of a bunch of bunch of a bunch of I want I want to get into you brought a couple of pairs of Nike SBs and I think yeah. we wanted to talk about SBs because you know there's a big story behind them and I think like a lot of people don't really appreciate the older like colorways and kind of like the That's, grind of like having to get these shoes because they're so expensive and like they're really hard to find they're really rare and like when we were younger like i was younger anyways i didn't see any promos for these shoes i didn't Absolutely really like you no, know no way it was like just, if your mom brought you to the mall at the right time you know what i mean even and in you, like i don't even think they were in the mall I, I remember them only being at the skate shops and like even if like they were there like sometimes it just sell out or you know So what's some 
I mean, just a question for you. What's some like skate shops that you really remember going to and being able to pick up a pair of SBs? Because for me, it was like Mosaic was like one of the only mm. ones in our town that I really remember being able to go and pick up from. And then other than that, it was pretty much all out of town stuff. Yeah, I think that was a, yeah. Uh, well, we didn't really, around this area anyways, like there was only Mosaic. And I remember getting like a couple pairs of SBs. I got some SB mids. Yeah. Like with the strap on them. So hard. Yeah, yeah. I wish I still had those, but you know, that was like the only place you can get them. Do you remember what colorway you had? Just the black and it was a black and white with the gray swoosh. It's like a like 2010. Not 20, the Spider Man ones? No, nah, they were just a like a team colorway, you know oh, what I mean? Sick. I mean, dude, honestly, team colorways were like kind of like mm -hmm. lame then, right? But you look yeah. back at them now and like who has them? You know what I yeah. mean? And the people who do have them, they're either shredded to high to, hell and they're death. almost not yeah and almost mm -hmm. not worth wearing or they kept them in a box forever and those are the ones those are like the grails you know what yeah. i mean like good luck finding one you know did i even like try to skate them but i never actually in i honestly i skateboarding sbs i never had like uh the patience for it because like they're kind of a clunkier shoe because like when we i was growing up it was janowski's it was like super skinny vulc vulcanized shoes yeah it wasn't like a big like dunk you know it was very minimal so when I try to skate them, I think I would skate them for like a day and then I stopped. And I try, and I just put on like some Janowskis Dude, or something else. Dude, one of my favorite pairs of shoes to skate was one of the ones I actually got from you uh, a while back. It was a pair of the uh, P-Rod 3s. Yeah, yeah. Those were freaking sick, dude. They yeah. had like the this, the board feel was sick. And they had they had the fat tongue, but they mm. weren't fat anywhere else other than yeah. the tongue. And they had the band in the middle, like mm. the stretchy band. So sick, dude. dude. No, I, no, yeah. And like, um, so yeah, like not skate. I didn't really skate them that much. But now like I feel like recently I've been more... Fa like falling in love with the story behind all the SBs because like when I was younger I didn't really see the value in them so you know I think now that I'm older I can see the colorways I can see like the story behind it right it, it I like mean, means a lot more now and I, I totally kinda... feel that too because I didn't actually get my first pair of SBs it was like 2014 or 15 yeah. and they were the uh, crawfish I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure I was 15 and I got them uh, at a skate shop I think it was industrial skate shop huh Maybe I'm not sure because yeah, yeah. I remember uh, I had a cousin that was working there and she would always just try to show me these cool shoes and stuff like mm -hmm. that and I was like yeah they're cool but like they're just so they're crazy you know what I mean like yeah. like even the crawfish when I bought them I was like it has like a newspaper article on the side and it's like mm -hmm. red yellow and gray colorway yeah, you're like you're like I don't know what's going on here I don't but mm -hmm. I freaking I saw those and I just loved them you know what I mean and I was mm -hmm. just like even if I don't wear them out all the time it would be a cool thing to have because at the time I was buying a lot of like Lakai's, yeah. a lot of like, like you said, like Janowski, stuff like that. The more simple stuff that goes with anything, yeah, yeah. but you can also skate them if you really mm -hmm. wanted to or had to. Honestly, I skated a lot of Vans, like the half cabs. Yeah. I love, I love half cabs, but at the same thing, like they're thick, you know what I mean? Like they mm -hmm. offer a lot of like uh, protection, but the board feel is. Yeah. Like doing kick flips on SBs would kind of like. I don't know. You, I, I feel like you had to like get like a sander and sand them down a little bit. Before you had to you want could, it. You had yeah, to want it for sure. You had to like break them down a little bit. Um, but so we got a couple pairs. Just a few. Yeah, Just yeah. A yeah. Few. He only brought a couple pairs of his collection. But you know, also talking about the boxes too. They all kind of have a, their own kind of cool story. Love the boxes, man. That once I actually started getting SBs because like the it was like 2015 when I first got a box. This wasn't the first pair I got, but it was came in a box like this. Ooh. And I was super stoked because I was like a teal box, you know, sitting on top of a bunch of like DCs and stuff like that. It just popped out and it just caught my eye every single freaking time. And I just love it. And then I, as I, you know, started getting deeper and deeper into the rabbit mm -hmm. hole, I was like, oh, a pink box, a gold box, yeah, like yeah. a blue box. Like, damn, like I want those, you know? No, dude. And then, um, so what are these called again? Those are the Cherry Blossoms. It's a 2015 release. And uh, they weren't the most limited ever. But same thing like we were talking about. Most people who bought these shoes at the time... Uh, either skated the hell out of them or didn't really realize that they were going to be a sick ass shoe later on in life. Yeah. So they just kind of beat them to toast. I mean, I'm really fortunate that I found a pair like that, uh, in that good a condition. It is a worn pair that I've worn a handful of times, mm -hmm. but I did buy them new actually. And like, same thing. I was just younger at the time and I was like, Oh, these are sick. Put them yeah. straight on my feet. Didn't they have the Janowski? Ver did Janowski have a cherry blossom, or was it just yeah. the Digi camo? No, they had the they had the uh, Janowski version too. Yeah, right? yeah and it was yeah. sick because they're so this one I like this one a lot, but it's real like broken up as you see, like it's uh kind of not all over the place, but it's really like spread apart with all the cherry blossoms. Where mm -hmm. on the Janowskis, it's really tight. Oh, you know what I mean? Dense. So the shoe almost yeah, looks yeah. more red. You know what I mean? Which is super sick. We also got a pair of super limited pair. Uh, what are these called again? Uh, those are the uh, they're a laser pack of some sort. I'm pretty sure. Actually, let me look at them real quick. These are insane. my phone's gone. My phone's gone. You chucked oh, his phone. Let me, let's try. Let's try. Let's try again. Uh, I was about to say Ted Bundy. They're not Ted Bundy. <laughs> These are the Ted Bundy <laughs> yeah. ones, guys. No, they're something. Something Bundy though. Like, uh, like 
Oliver. Was it Oliver Bundy? You just looked them up a minute ago. Yeah, I, dude, I'm so bad with names, honestly. But no, I love these, man. 2003. I mean, how many people can say they have a pair of Nike SBs without a Nike swish on them? I mean, even like they're they're kind of a goofier looking shoe in my opinion, but they also have like the resemblance of like a like the old like the Mexican wallets. You know what I mean? Yeah, like stuff yeah. like that. And they mm -hmm. got the laser pack insole, which in my opinion is freaking sick. You know what I mean? Like you just don't see that all the time. Especially being like a 2003 pair. I mean, dude, a 20 year old shoe and it's held up so nice. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Like people that want to get into like SBEs, like they don't realize like some of the colorways are like as old as them. Dude. Yeah. Or, yeah. or older. Old, yeah. I mean, what the first SBs really started coming out and hitting the market at like what? 2001, 2002. That's yeah. when like the red lobsters kind of came out and that's when they really started going crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's, it's wild. And it, it's cool because like these just says, just cause it's a dunk, you know, in the, solid capsule yeah they actually are able to like hold up you know if it was a, a had any job. foam or anything on it it would fall apart crumble so. yeah 20 year old yeah. you know fours fives whatever they always i mean you'll be lucky if fall you have a pair apart. that old yeah even to have a pair that old is pretty sick but better yet a pair that's still intact is like one in a million almost you know honestly like i always love this box Dude, the blue box is one of my favorites. Yeah. I mean, everybody loves the pink box, and I do too, but, I mean, bro, you cannot mistake that bright dude. royal blue and a stack of, dude, you could have 150 yeah, shoes in yeah, yeah. one of those, and it'll, it'll still pop out too, you know? This is so sick. I, I think this is, like, around the era when I was growing up, and I would see these boxes. Like, I remember Costin, like, uh, when he got his SB. So He had, like, a bunch sick. of these. SB, like, his ad had a bunch of SB boxes, and, like, the blue box was, like, the one. Dude, not only was that such a sick time in, like, SBs and shoes, but it was just a sick time for, like, skaters, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, just so many iconic skaters. Like, more, like, I can't even start naming them, but, like, that Costin era, bro, it was just freaking beautiful. Like, some of the best skaters ever, in my opinion. Yeah, I think uh, when he came on, it was kind of crazy because he had been on Lakai for so long. Mm -hmm. For him to get a, a deal with Nike, it was kind of like a like a LeBron thing or like, yeah. you know, when like Kobe went to Nike or kind of like, you know, you see like, it's just like it kind of changed the industry, you know? Well, like I said, like I've all, like I've always liked Lakai's ever since I can remember. Mm -hmm. And then seeing like one of their best skaters go over to Nike, I was yeah. like, why? Like, cause when I was younger, I mean, we didn't have like money to really just buy Nikes, like yeah. brand new Nikes all the time. But I was like, man, this guy that I really like and have always looked up to is going over to Nike. Mm -hmm. Like there has to be something like there better be something special going on. And sure enough, I freaking fell in love with them right away. Yeah. And like, oh, uh, like the older I've gotten, the more research i've done on cost and kind of like yeah learning about how he like always with his video parts he would always push like the limit of like what like you can do in skateboarding like oh like he would do a certain trick that has never been done before yeah and See, like, that, that would set the standard and that's like why it was such a big deal for cost and to get on nike because he was always the one that was kind of pushing skateboard like to the next level dude even like his weird shoes like the cost like twos or cost threes There's or whatever cost threes yeah the ones that have like the freaking sock, sock liner yeah. on the inside like the, i skated a pair and i honestly i freaking loved it they fell apart rather quickly honestly mm -hmm. i was a little disappointed in that aspect but as far as like board feel and being yeah. able to hit like an eight stair and like land and not mm -hmm. like break your damn ankle i was like damn for being a shoe that's like this thin <laughs> with a weird looking sock liner you know what i mean yeah dude it was a that was like an interesting era because like i feel like p rod Costin, they were really dude. into like kobe and they wanted to incorporate a lot of like basketball technology I into the shoes love p rod and like i think it was a cool idea but it got really expensive like the Quick. shoes like Quickly. those ones you're talking about are 150 dollars retail yeah so i don't think anybody really bought them just because they were so expensive no and that's like when those really started coming out, i was a little bit older at the time and like i had enough money like i was working and stuff like that mm -hmm. so uh, that was like my big like i'm yeah. gonna buy this sick pair of new costins and i'm gonna mm -hmm. shred the hell out of them and i was super stoked and i mean like i said they fell apart kind of quick so i was a little bummed out and then it just went right back to my lakai's but yeah, yeah. but it was a cool experience to be able to mm -hmm. say like right when they came out i got to shred them i got to have fun with them yeah, and yeah. feel the cost and experience Dude, yeah, the cost in twos, those ones sucked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wasn't a fan of those. Uh, there's, yeah, he went with like a golf style kind of thing. Yeah, they were super narrow. I hated the cost in twos. The cost in ones were incredible. Yeah, I wish I still had a pair. Dude, I wish. What were these called again? Those are the Pac Man highs. I freaking love the Pac Man highs. I have a pair of the Pac Man lows, which go for a little bit more, but I had to showcase these ones because even after skating them, after having them for years now, these came out in 2015. 15 can i check real quick yeah good yeah i was like i know they're an older pair i did not get them new uh this is a 2009 pair actually Sheesh. and yeah for being a 2009 pair I i've skated them i've freaking worn the absolute hell out of them and like the yellow on the outside is all still reflective when you take pictures of it it's super sick oh that's crazy i didn't even know that right and like like i said i have a pair of the lows which are a little bit more hype like more people know about them but the high top ones dude they just they hold a place in my heart just because they're so obscure and like 
mm-hmm. like two different blues, a yellow, a red, and then a fat white lace in the middle. Like, dude, it's just like you just see this like, walking around the street. You're like, what the what the hell is wrong with this kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no. know what I mean? No, these give me like a Robin Williams vibes, dude. He totally. always wore SBs, dude. So sick. Like, I think he would have had a he would have had a pair of these. Hey, rest in peace, Robin Williams. That's my boy, Miss Doubtfire. You got me through a lot of tough nights. <laughs> Uh, oh, I love these so much. Another pair that I wish I didn't skate so hard, but I love them. They're a freaking uh, uh, cream, uh, cream Thunder or Thunder Cream, one or the other. Mm-hmm. All these names, they, they get jumbled up in my head. This is a 2018 pair, so it's not quite as old as some of the other ones that we brought over today. But, I mean, it's almost like a UNC Blue, but it's not. Like I feel like UNC Blue is so overplayed at this point. You know what yeah. I mean? Like Every single shoe in, the, in their mom has had a UNC. Even outside of nike you know what i mean like everybody has a unc type of color like that baby blue like people just absolutely love it this is more like a i don't even know how you would call this blue yeah it's It's not not, a navy it's It's not not, it's like a it's like a pastel blue i guess i would say pastel yeah yeah. no i love this shoe very subtle too and do the canvas on it like i said it's another pair of shoes that i actually skated and like yeah i mean you can tell there's wear on it i mean i got mad freaking toe creasage on it but it's just still even after all the freaking time of shredding it you know the laces are freaking falling apart Mm -hmm. from skating it it just still looks so good and it holds up next to even some of the new shoes that are coming out in my opinion yeah like even being this beat up i mean i would rather wear a pair of these than some of the new like like even like chunky donkeys and stuff like that like they're super sick but after you pay that much money like these like a new pair of these is going for probably like seven or eight hundred bucks right mm-hmm. a used pair you could probably pick one up if you fi- if you're lucky and find it in your size for like 400 bucks which is still a lot of money but to have something that's this old and looks this pretty i mean you're gonna be the only one in town with this pair if you end up finding one he said canvas but they are suede i did say canvas no, just clarifying because everybody's gonna be like those aren't canvas <laughs> they're not they're not canvas those freaking uh that's why i didn't really want to skate the uh cherry blossoms too much because i've always mm-hmm. had bad experiences with canvas a little bit yeah. more than suede i'll do like an ollie and i'll get like a hole right away yeah 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 i mean it Can- looks really clean i love the way canvas looks but man does it does it's, it like to tear it, up on you it is one of those canvas has always been one of those materials that like you know stains yeah it stains yeah. super easy skateboarding i think it's when you see a canvas like skate shoe you probably just it's probably more of like a collector thing yeah, it's not really sure. something you would want to i skate. mean dude and that's a white canvas shoe the cherry yeah. blossom so i mean i would i would really be i really wanted to skate him when i first got him mm-hmm. i got him to skate him and like make a skate video with him and stuff like that and then i was looking at him and i was like no way in hell am i gonna put these <laughs> on and take him to the skate park well it's also like they're gonna fall apart faster so it's like it just feels like oh like i'm kind of just doing like yeah like exactly. i'm just gonna ruin the shoe just because you know for the cool part yeah but it's like it's yeah, not I gonna was, like, sponsored you know yeah. and someone gave me the shoes yeah, yeah. i'd love to but mm-hmm. i went out of my way and like actually like hunted a pair down because yeah. i saw some i actually saw somebody skating them I wish I could remember who, man. I really can't remember mm-hmm. the skater. But I saw someone with him, and I was like, those are freaking sick. I n- need a pair right now. Yeah, dude. If they have, like, leather backing behind the canvas, mm-hmm. sometimes, like, they do that with shoes. Those that's, are like, like the, what's it called? More... The Paisley's, like a newer one. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Can- Is that canvas over the top of them? Because I know you peel it back, it has, like, like white leather underneath it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are cool. That I think, uh, yeah, they have like a uh, suede or leather on the on under it, so you can if so those ones if you skate them and you blow through the canvas, you still have the suede Something to underneath. Yeah, sick. Mm-hmm. Pink box guys, dude, I love the pink box so much. Doesn't even say SB yet. Yeah, I know. That's I. Yeah. I that was gonna bring insane. that up too. I freaking love how it doesn't even say SB on it. It's insane because like yeah, I think I don't know when they started adding the SB because it was Nike Air. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say the blue box definitely does. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and all the way up into the the gold box has the SB on it too. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah. it has to be like a fine line. Like they probably one day were just like, "Yo, why the hell does it not say SB?" Yeah, yeah. I think the SB always like made it like so much cooler for some reason. Dude, in my I opinion, don't know why. same, <laughs> dude. Same so much, dude. What were these ones called again? Those are called the Black Melvins. That's a, another old old pair. I want to say like a 2003 pair, but we can check it out again too. Because I'm I'm so bad with years. I got way too many shoes to try to remember all of them as much as i would actually love to 2005 five see my brain's all over the place man these are crazy though but no i love these so much man it's another pair that i skated that i really wish i didn't because i don't even know what this isn't leather and i wouldn't even call it pleather i don't know what you would call this material but Uh, it's like a new buck uh, but but uh, man, but it kind of feels like a leather. So sometimes like new buck in leather, kind of I don't know. I would say let me get a little. Close, let me you know? show them real quick. Yeah, bring it up to the camera. Look at this. Look at this, and it's cracking. Show them the toe box. Oh yeah, this is so sick. It's so sick. So hard. I mean, dude. Melvin. 
Was it for what? It, what was it? Do you know what the cult like the collab was for this? So I mean, I did, but I honestly don't remember because I know they have a white Melvin as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, between me and all my friends, we just call them the YMW Mellies because they're, yeah. the <laughs> they're the Melvins. <laughs> but uh, I really don't remember, dude. I really don't, and I wish I did. I wish I would have done a little bit more research before I came in and started talking about them because I really do love this shoe. They skated so good, like for so long. And I mean, I, like I said, I wish I didn't skate them as hard as I did because of the material like and but dude even after being a 2005 shoe skating the hell out of it being a weaker material like there's no like breaking in it you know what i mean like my toes not poking through the sole is all stitched perfect still even doing heel flips and stuff like that like you still see it says melvin even though you see there's quite a bit of scuffs and stuff like that yeah. on there like it's still there and it's so freaking sick in my opinion like they really did do a really good job of making these shoes when they started coming out with them and I mean, I don't want to say they fell off, right? Because I know some of the new SBs, they tend to break down a little bit faster. But like, dude, this is literally holding the test of time. Like a young, dumb kid skating it, beating the hell out of it, going to parties, spilling drinks out on it, doing the yeah, whole yeah, thing, yeah. you know what I mean? And they still look good, in my opinion. I mean, I know some people are really against like having like an old beat up shoe. But like, dude, I like I like my shoes. Like I like my women just old and dirty, you know? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I told you I'd sneak like, that you, one. You, you, you like them like I like them like my truck. I like, I like my shoes like I like my trucks. Oh man, this is a '98. This is a '98. This is a '72 Toyota Jimmy, and she's still running hard. What are these? <laughs> Those are the. They're called cloud. First of all, let's look at the box too. Uh, dude, the box. You can't beat the box, dude. Love the box so much. The pre SB boxes are so yeah. freaking sick, dude. But uh, I believe they're called the cloud graphite. Uh, the nice little cloud looking blue and then the graphite gray. This is another one of those pairs that like if you look them up on StockX or something, like you're just not going to see. Mm -hmm. Like the last sale was probably, I, I don't know because I haven't checked in a while. But last time I saw a last sale, it was no more than 200 bucks or like 250 You know what I mean? But you look at like buy now and you just don't see them. I mean, like the reason I brought a bunch of these shoes in is not because they're so expensive or because they're so like so hype or anything like that. It's just something that you don't see all the time. Yeah. And I mean, dude, you can wear this with so much stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. you put on a pair of blue jeans, a pair of black jeans, a white t-shirt you put on some color like some maroon like like it just you wear whatever you want with something like this and not only are you have an outfit that like nobody else is gonna have but it's also something that is just rare you don't see it all mm -hmm. the time you know what i mean and i mean i'm not i'm not kanye i'm not trying to make all the fashion statements in the world but i really love seeing something like, especially even if i see a kid like walking around on the street with a pair of shoes that i don't recognize even if they're not nike or adidas or yeah, something yeah. like that i'm just like what what are those you know what i mean just mm -hmm. give them the time of day because i mean it, it got, like I was say, I remember when I was broken, I didn't, I couldn't, like, I was wearing, like, fucking, like, uh, and ones and stuff like yeah, that, right? Yeah. Shacks, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then I'd go to, I'd go to like a thrift store or something like that and find a pair of shoes that, like, I know nobody would knew what they were. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, these are cool. Not because they're so expensive. I got them for five dollars, but no one's gonna know what they are, so they can't, they can't diss on me for it because they don't even yeah, know what yeah. it is, you know? Mm -hmm. They're like, these are exclusive. You know, you can only find them at, at Goodwill. <laughs> I pay, pay less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. What's and, crazy about these ones too is like they don't even have the SB. Uh, yeah, like you would never know this is a, Ni a Nike SB no, shoe. No, no way. Absolutely it doesn't have not. the SB tag on it. It doesn't, you know. It's the, yeah, the pre-SB, man. You can't yeah. beat that. It's insane. And I mean, same thing. They're made so well. Like, this is a 2000, early 2000s, 2003 pair. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, like I said, it just holds the test of time so good. Like, I didn't clean any of these shoes before I brought them in. I want to show them to you guys and like, all the raw, like, this is how I'm going to wear them. This yeah. is how they're going to look if you ever see me with them on feet. Like, I'm not saying, like, Nike SB is, like, they're not falling off. They're doing amazing for themselves. They make a bunch of sick shoes still. But if you mass produce a shoe, it's really hard to get that same quality. Like, this shoe is... 20 years old and if you clean it up and put it on the shelf i mean you could fool me and say that it's a, a new release you know what i mean if i didn't know any better like i just love that it'll last forever like i never really skated these shoes but same thing like i was a young kid and i was going to parties i probably spilled some drinks on them i freaking definitely walked around in the rain in them did all that stuff and i just i mean i love this one of my favorite pairs of shoes not only because they're a pre-sb box and they don't say sb on them but they're just freaking sick and pretty i like pretty things <laughs> the baby blue that you can't dude yeah come you on you can't you can't go wrong with baby blue dude you cannot do you feel like the gold box is the most like sought after one or do you think pink or which like what is like you know when you talk to somebody who collects sbs like so what? that's a really deep question i feel like everybody has their own favorite right mm -hmm. don't get me wrong a lot a lot a lot of grails have came out of the gold box but personally i love love the blue box and i mean 
I love the pink box too. I mean, you, you think know. like the Tiffany's, mm -hmm. uh, and then you think of like the lobsters, and you think of like coming out of the gold box, and then the blue box has oh man, the blue box just has so many. Or I didn't bring any silver boxes. The silver yeah. boxes are O G. Dude, I only crazy. have one silver box. Actually, now that you say that, I'm wearing the silver box. I didn't bring the box though. It's these tweeds, 2003 tweeds. This is a silver box, and I feel dumb for not bringing it. But another <laughs> pair, a 2003 pair of shoes that holds up great. I mean, I wear the hell out of these. I drive a manual car. I bang gears harder than your mom. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Dude, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> but, like, dude, I, I really do put these shoes to, like, work. Like, I don't put them on and, like, pr like watch my step and stuff like that. I put these shoes on and wear them like you would a pair of, like, work boots. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they still hold up. I mean, two, these are 20 years old, and I'm, mm. I just showed up to a, a podcast in them. You dude, know what I mean? These are my work boots. Yeah exactly man these are crazy gibson guitar case uh if anybody knows anything about like uh or like plays guitar really nice guitar case the gibsons they all have that pink fuzzy on the inside it's no different with the shoes i love these i mean the pink stitching around the swish the nice leather this is another pair i haven't worn a whole bunch uh because i just i don't know i know i could style it with a bunch of stuff but i just choose not to i like i like keeping a, at least a handful of the shoes mint this is a 2007 pair out of the gold box I just, I love it, dude. The bright ass pink, the, the beautiful brown, like real leather. Like you like, you get that, you get that sound. You smell it and it smells like real leather. And that is what is so cool about it. Like the gold accents, everything about the shoe is sick. Honestly, I'll even take out the insole and show you guys. Cause the insole is another thing. That's just one of a kind. You don't see it all the time. It has the, the change on it. Here, I'll bring it up for you guys. Yeah, dude, it, it is crazy because, like, you'll see people bring, like, like, I've, like, seen on other channels where, like, somebody's trying to sell their SB collection, and they have so many colorways I've never seen. Never seen I feel them. like most people, like, see the popular ones, but there's a lot of cool ones that, you know, they don't have a lot of hype or nobody was there for, like, to, you know, archive them and stuff. So, yeah, like, that one I've never seen. Well, even, like, these ones, the ones that, like, you don't see, like, I don't know, I don't, I think the ones that do have a lot of hype behind them are because there's so many of them made like yeah. this, these right now if you look them up on StockX or ebay or something like that ebay is probably gonna be a little bit cheaper but for a new pair of these man you're gonna be looking at like a thousand dollars you know yeah. what i mean a used pair you probably get your hands on one for quite a bit less because most of the used pairs are gonna be pretty beat up i think i got this pair used lightly used as you can see for like 450 bucks which in my opinion was a great deal i was really really excited to get my hands on these keep them nice and keep them looking real sexy but i mean honestly in hype shoes i don't really think the price matters so much you know what i mean i really just think it's the exclusivity the exclusive vividity exclusivity Ex yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's just the fact that like you just don't see people yeah, trotting around in these i've never seen anybody wear those either. and you know the few the only other person i ever saw wearing a pair of these was at a seattle skate park and he was absolutely ripping the hell out of them mm -hmm. not only was he skating absolutely insane like you know front side back side flips freaking yeah, yeah. tail slides kick flip out like mm -hmm. outrageously good skater but he was treating these shoes like like they are like a pair of skate shoes you know yeah. what i mean he was really using them for what they were made for and dude after seeing that guy shred him like i think this is a good looking shoe but every time i look at the shoe i just think back of when i was younger and seeing that guy shred him and i was like dude i have a pair of these now yeah. <laughs> you know like i have a pair like Dude, I bet that guy doesn't even have his pair anymore. They're probably falling apart by now, but dude, yeah. so sick. I love this shoe a lot. Dude, the best story I've ever remember is like some dude pulling up with some Iron Mans. Dude, so hard. Those are like $30,000 now, dude. But it was funny because- Oh, no, Iron Maidens. Iron no, Maidens. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, saying. like Iron Man. I think that was what the colorway was. The and red they, and yellow? Yeah, and okay. like the funny thing was like he was saying that they're like super expensive, but they smelled like- <laughs> it, like no box they smelled like um let me guess before you say anything i got three three characteristics for what this could smell like cigarettes sweat or just yeast like a mix of beer and feet and just not. it was like it was all of the above it was all <laughs> the above it smelled it like it like had a had a, some perimeter of smell dude just like, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. like it had like a bubble <laughs> And I was remembering them, like, wanting to sell them. And then I was like, dude, like, no. No. <laughs> like, 50 bucks, dude. 50 bucks. Like, I mean, dude, sometimes when a shoe is so beat up, I mean, it's not really worth anything anymore. Yeah. I mean, not only is somebody not going to want to put it on their feet, but even as, like, a display purpose, you'd have to put it in a box to make your whole store not smell like yeah. a skate park, you know? That or you have to, like, really deep clean them. And I yeah. mean, that costs money, too, you know yeah. what I mean? But no, yeah, that was that's so funny. But like again, yeah, it was like another colorway. I didn't know what it was. I've so never seen though. it before. It was sick to see. It wasn't sick to smell, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you, you get some, you give some, take some. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Um, 
have you been hyped on any of these new releases of the SBs coming out, or have you seen anything that's gotten you hyped up? Or you feel like this year has been kind of like a kind of mid? I mean, there's been some cool stuff, honestly. I don't even want to say any like particular names because there's no like honorable mentions of stuff that I've seen came out that I'm like, yo, I need that pair. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I do keep up on on the new releases and stuff like that, but I haven't seen anything in a while. The last thing I really really liked that was a, like a newer pair that came out mm-hmm. was the jordan 4 sbs yeah which is i mean a little bit off like it's not a nike sb like dunk you know what i mean mm-hmm. but like the jordan 4 sbs are really sick and then i got my hands on a pair and then everybody had them so i kind of it kind of killed it for me a little yeah. bit and i mean i hate to sound like that kind of guy like if everybody has them i don't like them because it's not that mm-hmm. i don't like them i love the shoe the pine green colorway is freaking awesome clean, yeah like I, I keep them uh, nice and up high they're outside of the box i wake up and look at them like they're a cool shoe yeah but i just i wore them once and then I saw how how many other people had them, and I was like, you know, I got other stuff I would rather wear, type you're, of thing. You're kind of waiting for like everybody else to just destroy their pairs, exactly. And you stop seeing them exactly. so much. Exactly. Yeah. And like uh, I heard that there was a bread uh, SB that was supposed to come out, and I never. It's like all rumors at this point, right? They want to do it, they don't like you know. I feel like it was mainly just people like hoping like we'd get a bread SB or that would be. You know, I mean, that would be sick. SB. That'd be super so. sick. Like I love. I have a the J packs. Uh, the mm-hmm. only JPEG I'm missing is the green pair, but like the red and black pair, I, yeah. I bought them from you actually. Yeah, yeah. The, dude, such a clean pair of shoes, bro. It's literally just red and black, and like mm-hmm. you, I mean, <laughs> can't go wrong. You dude. really can't, bro. It goes the with bread everything. Colorway, and, dude. It, yes, the bread yeah, yeah. colorway is so hard, dude. And those are good. Those go for like 800 bucks, brand new. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And of course, I skated them. Yeah, r- absolutely destroyed them. But I still have the shoe, and I love. I love even wearing them, even being beat up, because they are just a cool thing you don't see all the time. I really like the. Uh, the blue pair. I forget what they're called. Royal. I'm pretty sure it's just royal blue. Yeah. But yeah, they're yeah. all black and blue. Same yeah. thing. Like, it's like sometimes I wear, way, but just blue. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I wear like one and then the other just to be super edgy. You know what I mean? But like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like you're walking around looking like a Nintendo Switch with my hair all like. You know what I mean? You just got the the blue and red Joey Cons on your feet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. I did. It's crazy too because when I got those, I got them. I got Ross for like forty bucks. Really? Mm-hmm. That is so sick. Dude, I wish they, Ross was still coming out with bangers like. Well, that. Well, like back when like nobody was buying them. Like I remember seeing like the Heinekens. No, I don't, it might not have been the Heinekens, but I remember seeing for sure like a kid size of the the snowman high tops. So sick, dude. Yeah. So and badass. We were, and I was like, me and Oscar were like, should we buy these? And we're like, nah, nah. nah. But now they're like five hundred, six hundred yeah. bucks. All dude, all day, dude. If you have the. Uh, What's it called? The special box that comes with like the little uh, yeah. uh, tree ornament and everything like that, mm-hmm. dude. They're a bag, dude. Everything that uh, what's the brand that does it? They did the uh, they did the shattered glass looking ones. Concept, concept, yeah. All yeah, the yeah. concept Nike SBs, dude. Yeah. yeah, same thing. Mm-hmm. They're all so sick. Even like the sh- uh, shattered uh, shattered glass or stained glass is what it is. Uh, they okay, come in so. the big special box. Even the special box, bro, is only like. 380 400 bucks like they're really not going for a lot but Dude, they're but so sick that's a pair i should have brought honestly because i really like them they're really uncomfortable though because it's like it's like a dr- <laughs> it's like a dried out fruit roll-up texture yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like they've, they've lasted forever i've worn them quite a few times and they still look great but dude like trying to bend your foot in them and literally it's like it's like an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. It's like just not happening. It's like Batman and Joker. Yeah, it's just not happening. Oh, uh, like because like yeah, sometimes they would do SBs where they would put like the see-through plastic and stuff. Yeah, and like it was just weird. Foot would be on fire. Super, or like yeah. the eBay dunks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I remember seeing people wear them. And Dude, just funniest sweating thing. Is, every yeah, day. when we went to, sne- <laughs> I remember you were at Sneaker Con too. The same time. I don't know if you saw the guy. Pair of freaking. Uh, ebay's with no socks on and it was just steaming up a storm that was awesome dude i got a picture somewhere on my phone because i had to snap it but dude it literally could you could barely even see his foot it was just steamed up funny you you saw like the moisture droplets i was like yes that guy's (laughs) that guy's owning it you know what i mean that guy's living his best life after the like taking them off after he's done just dude just brutal smell it was awesome i mean like dude sauna his feet are like joe rogan in there (laughs) just like melting so like i don't paint my toenails but you think if you're wearing a see-through shoe like that maybe been tough, maybe actually. <laughs> yeah. go with all the colors of the shoe dude that would something. have been clean dude. <laughs> or something right no he yeah. just had them dogs out for dude. everyone to see man i was like wondering if like they were just like beat up dogs too like his feet are just brutal looking i mean dude it's really hard for me to like judge another man's feet yeah but <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done that in a while but no but they, they uh <laughs> they look like i wouldn't want to wear the shoes afterwards let's oh, just yeah. put it that way yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, uh, what are the concept of those? Uh, the turkey, the Traduncans. Traduncans, yeah, I got a pair of those, and I absolutely 
love them, dude. They're mm-hmm. so weird looking. Like they have like the weird fray looking stuff, yeah. like almost like uh, like like the tribal. You know how they mm-hmm. have like the little tiny slits all over. It kind of feels like yeah. hair when you go through it. it Super dude, sick. The special box is crazy on those. Special box is sick. It comes with a, a Nerf football. Comes with a pair of socks, and yeah, then it comes. Yeah. You open up. The, it looks like an oven. You know what yeah, I mean? And the is. shoes are in there. It is crazy because you can get the special box. I think it's like three hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, some of those yeah. concepts are like some mm-hmm. of the coolest shoes. Um, coolest take that with a grain of salt grain most of salt. Out, outlandish you know pair yeah. of shoes that you'll ever see but they're not very expensive because people don't don't they're not in love with them you know mm-hmm. what i mean but i mean dude give it 20 years when nobody has a pair and like somebody has a special box people are going to be killing each other for them you know what i mean everybody's gonna be dead on the streets for yeah, these shoes. dead on the streets man what did you do for these shoes <laughs> yeah you don't want to know you don't want to know you don't want to know <laughs> I, I spent 500 bucks <laughs> yeah, it sucked uh, <laughs> well yeah um did you want to plug anything while you're here what, what do you have going on i mean Before honestly the podcast is over let them know where they can reach dude, you what's going on with your life i honestly bro? really don't have many like like sources to like get at me at you know what i mean like i have a snapchat uh smoky underscore bear four two three i'm okay. really bad at replying I, I have an instagram but i haven't been on it for like a year because i just was spending so much time do i look at my screen time and i'm like four hours a day scrolling and i'm like shit man so like i deleted my instagram deleted my tiktok uh i do have music out on apple music it'll be under uh young damius but i mean as of right i have like two songs out so i wouldn't go i wouldn't go searching quite yet let me get some more build up uh i don't even have a soundcloud like i really dude all i do is work collect shoes and play runescape uh my runescape name is uh death dab 2 uh death with an e if you want to join up i'm a slayer (laughs) level like 85 right now if someone wants to go do some slayer tasks but other than that i mean that's really i'm not really doing much with myself other than just trying to work and build the shoe collection i mean i really i don't know what it is about shoes man but it just like shoes and cars like i just Mm -hmm. there's something about freaking splashing with a fat (laughs) yeah dude something about that and then looking down and seeing a freaking 20 year old pair of shoes i'm just like i made it like this like this is it (laughs) you're like vendi so you know what i mean family on my feet and dude yeah between that and going to school like i just really don't have time to be doing much else you Mm -hmm. know what i mean like like i said i love making music with my friends i love collecting shoes i like like going out of town and you know like if you ever wanted to link up and just go hit you know some parts of california even yeah. a, even a closer stop like uh portland you know there's mm-hmm. index there's drexler's there's a the bait shop you know what i mean it's cool stuff that we could go check out and even if we didn't buy anything even just like check it out and kind of preview what's new what's good because yeah, yeah. i love getting out of town even like nordstrom you know what i mean yeah. i'm not i'm not really into like the designer stuff but it is cool to see like the new balenciagas it's cool mm-hmm. to see the new off-white stuff but you know what i mean like it's just cool to check out and kind of get see a, where like the trends are going and stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly exactly <clears throat> last time i went to nordstrom like i was like I've seen some of the off-white stuff that they have, and I love off-white. Like, I got, mm-hmm. like, four or five pairs of the off-white, like, dunk lows, and, like, I have a pair of, like, the outer offices. Like, I love the off-white stuff, a couple of hoodies and stuff like that. But I just, I don't I don't know if I like all the new stuff that's coming out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. I mean, that's a biased opinion, because I know a bunch of people are like, this is next level, this is new mm-hmm. era. But I kind of like the older stuff more. And maybe, like, maybe I'm going to be stuck there forever. Like, even, like, the newest pair of shoes I got was, like, like the off-white dunks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just, I'm kind of stuck in my old ways. But, I mean, I'm excited to see, like, for some new stuff to come out that I'm really, I'm excited to be excited mm-hmm. about another pair of shoes. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And I think uh, right now we're kind of in like a weird place where like, we don't really have anybody kind of moving the needle with like trends and yeah. like kind of like setting us up for like, you know, like we had Kanye, we had like Travis, yeah. we have, we always had somebody kind of like doing something yeah. to kind of like influence like a hundred people were like, you know, wanting to dress. Sean Witherspoon, if you see this, we need an SB ASAP brother. Yeah. We need an SB from Sean Witherspoon. That'd be crazy. That would be so sick. Should leave Adidas for sure. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Your Adidas. I mean, I have all the Witherspoon Adidas, and I love them. Some of them have like the flower, like with the frills hanging off and stuff like that, and they're sick. But I can't say I've ever worn, a, like, actually worn a pair out of the house. You know what I mean? <laughs> he wears them around the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's more of like a house shoe. You know what yeah, I mean, dude? <laughs> but dude, a freaking Witherspoon SB would be so sick, dude. I would absolutely because, dude, the Air Max. Not only is it like mm-hmm. so legendary, it goes for so much money. But like, I remember when they came out, like, it was a sick shoe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like super. What is it? Air Max ninety seven. Yeah. I think so. Ninety five or ninety seven. Dude, no, so no. sick, dude. Not only is it a good like a base of a shoe, like he not like he's a good artist himself, right? But then no. he took a shoe that's already good and made it better. Mm-hmm. And I'd love to see that with like an SB. Like they're so plain and simple, honestly. Like as much as I hate to say it, like they're like they're just simple. It's one big swoosh, nice toe box. Yeah. That's the shoe. You know there what I mean? Go. But seeing somebody else's take like that on it would be just. Mwah. 
Yeah, and I, I think, uh, man, we bring up Sean so many times in this in the podcast. Like really? me and Oscar too. We're <laughs> yeah. just like so like not nah, like we just want to see him do something else, dude. Yeah, so, I mean it's hard not. It'd to, be bro. cool to see him go back to Nike and like you know where he could go from there. Like the Adidas stuff has been it's been cool. Like I think it's just like you it's know, more like experimental stuff. Though, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it not everybody would wear those Adidas Sean Witherspoons like anywhere. I think that's what yet. we've always kind of said too. It's just it doesn't feel like something you can do casually. You know? Yeah, no, not so. at all. All right. With all that being said. Thank you for coming through, Damien. It's been a pleasure hey, it's chopping been, it up with SBs. It's been SBs. my pleasure, brother. been my pleasure. If you guys want to check us out, check out the shop. Check out our Instagram, Shoebox, PMW. Set up an appointment. Come through and see what we got. But for now, take care, guys.